Hi everyone, my name is Star and I'm on staff at Church on Fire. Last week, Pastor Doug encouraged us to read the book of John for us to stay spiritually strong and grow in our relationship with Jesus. And so I'm excited that we are starting this uh, reading together. And one of the methods that we've come up with to study the book of John is called SOAP. And um, this method helps us to dive a little deeper into God's word. And so we want to invite you to join us at any time. You can jump in any time, any chapter, and just dive right into the word with us. So what does SOAP stand for? You're probably wondering, what is SOAP? Well, SOAP is an acronym. S stands for scripture. O stands for observation. A stands for application. And P is for prayer. And so when we look at the scripture with SOAP, we want to take time reading and allowing God to speak to us through the scriptures. And we want to look for a particular verse that spoke to us that day. And we want to write down what that main thought is that we're getting from that scripture. O is for observation. So we look at what is God saying to us in this scripture. Whatever scripture you pick out from that chapter that day, focus in on that scripture and ask the Holy Spirit to teach you and show you what is God saying to you that day in that scripture. A is for application. So you want to personalize what you've read by asking yourself, how will I be different today because of what I've just read? Which is a great question to ask when we read the word of God. And then P is for prayer. And this is simple. This can be as simple as just asking God to help you use the scripture or uh, there may be a greater insight that he's trying to reveal to you. So you want to pray about that and talk to him about that. I want to encourage you to go to mycfm.info to our CF News page and scroll down to additional resources. And there you can find all the information you need about SOAP. Um, that way you can jump right in with us and join us in the book of John. So let's jump in and look at John chapter one using our SOAP Devo method. So S we know stands for scripture. So as I was reading through John chapter one, so many incredible things in that chapter, but I narrowed it down to verse 41 and it says, and he, Andrew, first sought out and found his own brother Simon and said to him, we have found and discovered the Messiah. Have you ever found something that you're super excited about and you want everybody to know about it? Well, I love to shop. And so when I find a great deal on something, I wanna tell everybody about it, like these awesome shoes right here. I found them on DSW, awesome deal for those. You know, Jesus is more important than a pair of shoes, right? So we want to tell other people that we have found him. And so the next part of our soap is observation. And it's basically talking about what is God saying to you in the scripture? So when I look at what he's saying to me, I'm seeing him tell me through that scripture, we need to tell other people about Jesus. We need to tell other people we have found and discovered him. And so people have been looking for the Messiah. Um, they didn't know it was Jesus at that time, but for years and through the Old Testament scripture, several prophets had been talking about the Messiah that was going to come. And the religious leaders were saying, this, this Messiah, this anointed one is going to deliver us from our enemies, from all of our problems. He's going to be our king. He's going to lead us to these incredible victories. But what they didn't understand was that those prophecies were not about a physical kingdom. They were about a spiritual kingdom. And that kingdom was the kingdom of God. And that spiritual victory was ours because Jesus took our sin and he died on the cross and rose again and won a spiritual victory for us. And so we can see that now we can be children of God. So that's what that really spoke to me. Um, after they discovered Jesus and found him, they still had a decision to make because a couple of verses later, it says that Jesus came and found Philip and he said, come and follow me. So even after they discovered him, they all had a decision to make to follow him. They had to go with him. And so when I look at the scripture in my own words, um, basically it says to me, look for the people in your life that have not found Jesus yet and tell them you have found him and then leave your past behind. Come close to Jesus and build a relationship with him while I go wherever he goes. So we can look at A for application, which we can see that right now there are people in our lives that are either at work or coworkers or neighbors, friends that are looking for hope. And we can go to them and tell them we found the Messiah. We can go to them and tell them that he is the answer to their problems. He's the one that can help them with their children, their marriage, their finances, whatever they need. We can say we have found the Messiah and we can tell them that he is the answer to their life 
And so the last part of our Soap Devo time is prayer. So I want to close this devotional with prayer right now because I believe that God hears us when we pray. And when we come to him, he is not, uh, he doesn't just pick favorites. He says, I hear the prayers of my people and he is working in, in the behind the scenes, working in our lives and working in our situations. So let's pray together. Father, help us to discover more about Jesus and follow him every day. We ask you, Jesus, to help our friends and family that don't know you, to find you and discover who you are. Lord, show us how to love them and be there for them so that they can find a relationship with you and follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. So I want to thank you for joining me today for John chapter 1. Make sure to check out our social media every day for the next chapter of the book of John. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.